Some time ago, a friend, George, advised me that he tried out an Igili wheel and he felt that it was behaving in an unusual way. And he suggested I try one myself. In the box, there is simply the wheel, its base, a clear plastic cover and a simple instruction sheet. This just has diagrams that show you how you should simply place the wheel and base on a flat surface in front of you, then simply curve your left or right hand and forearm around where the wheel is on the flat surface. The unit itself is very simple, a very lightweight plastic six-spoked wheel, about seven centimetres in diameter, with a metal cap in the centre. There are 72 spines around the circumference. In use, a tiny pin under the central metal cap of the wheel sits on the spindle of a metallic base. The wheel is then so delicately balanced that it is sensitive to air currents. The metal base of the wheel has a web address on it, www.igili.hu. It is not magnetic has no springs, batteries or other means of generating rotational motion. The device was invented and developed by George Igili, following his research and experimentation into what he called bioenergy. If you place the wheel between your body and your outstretched arm or hand, the wheel will turn in the direction your fingers point. If you use your right hand, the wheel turns anti-clockwise, and if you use your left hand, it turns clockwise. Very simple. I tried the wheel with several different people among my family and friends, and the results were fairly consistent, being just as the instruction leaflet showed. I then decided to do some further tests, moving my hands to different positions and also using a small bowl of hot but not boiling water to see if warm air currents generated by the warm water would affect the movement of the wheel. In this test I decided to invert my left hand and as you can see the wheel starts to turn in an anti-clockwise direction albeit rather slowly. In this test, I made the wheel turn using my left hand and then I inserted a piece of card between my hand and the wheel I then withdrew the card from the space between my hand and the wheel. As you can see, the wheel began to turn in a clockwise direction, having been turning in a anti-clockwise direction. I then repeated this same test. the same result was observed. In this next test, I placed a clear plastic cylinder over the wheel between my hand and the wheel. This seemed to stop all the rotation completely. In the next test, I placed my left hand flat on the table next to the wheel rather than vertically. This caused the wheel to rotate slowly.
I then placed my right hand flat on the table and this also caused the wheel to rotate slowly. Next, I took a bowl of warm water, as you can see, steam coming off it, and I placed this bowl with a lid on it near to the wheel and left it for a short period. It seemed to cause some small rotation of the wheel, but not as fast as when I was using my hands near the wheel. Moving the bowl to different positions did not seem to affect the movement of the wheel greatly. I just wanted to show that the water is indeed quite warm. I then placed the wheel on top of the covered bowl of warm water. The wheel does not seem to particularly rotate quickly, certainly it's not as quickly as with using my hands. I then tried to film from a different position so that I could hold my hands slightly differently and get a different picture of the wheel. I then put my left hand and my right hand in a way which made the wheel turn faster. This was what was shown on the instruction leaflet and it did seem to make the wheel turn more quickly. If I inverted one of my hands, it did affect the speed of rotation. I repeated the test with my hands flat on the table and the rotation almost stopped. I then tried using my right hand to rotate the wheel and then I held my right hand with my left hand and the rotation stopped. Releasing my right hand from my left hand caused the wheel to start turning again. If I inverted my left hand and then touched it onto my right hand, the direction of rotation was reversed. So there are no magnets, no batteries, 
no threads, this is just the wheel. And if you don't believe what I've done, then you'll have to get one of the wheels for yourself and try these experiments for yourself. Thanks very much for watching.